I think this is really interesting. See, Ripple's strategy sometimes, apart from being, you know, the number one crypto project that is in cross-border payments, CBDCs, etc. Ripple also has made moves into industries such as healthcare with XRP Healthcare. But another strategy that they have is they enter new industries by being the payments layer for that industry. And this move is absolutely huge. Again, if we just take our minds off what's happening with the XRP price at the moment, we can maybe follow the fundamentals of what Ripple is doing in the background with the billions that they're selling with our escrow money. <laughs> These people reckon XRP price is about to spike as Ripple enters another $1.5 trillion industry. So let's not worry about what the price is going to do. But um, this industry is an absolutely colossal one. And if they do make inroads into this industry, it's going to change everything. OK, so global crypto payments provider Ripple is poised to venture into a substantial $1.5 trillion industry signaling a potential surge for XRP. The company is strategically positioning itself to provide solutions to financial complexities within the industry. In a recent Wednesday report published on X, Ripple, a blockchain-based digital payments network, revealed its latest expansion target to be the $1.5 trillion industry. The crypto network has envisioned a transformative role for Ripple in the IT industry where difficulties with cross-border payments and other financial changes have long persisted. So the industry is the IT industry, which is absolutely huge. The IT industry, which is information technology, includes, of course, communications, colossal communications, conglomerates like, you know, AT&T, cable and wireless, British Telecom, etc. It also includes massive tech organizations like Google, Apple, Microsoft, Facebook, all of those people, right? So in a way, it is one of the largest sectors that we have. Two of the most liquid companies in the world, and largely so, are in the IT industry, Apple and Google. So if they could make inroads into this industry, it's going to make a massive impact on XRP. 97% of leaders believe blockchain and digital assets will have a significant role in enabling faster payments within the next three years. In our latest payments guide, discover how to accelerate global payments for an IT services business, Ripple stated. While Ripple expressed its ambition to extend its thriving industry, the crypto payments provider also outlined several ways IT service providers can utilize blockchain-based payments to overcome their financial problems. According to Ripple, by using blockchain technology, many IT services can easily streamline payments to suppliers overseas. Additionally, blockchain-based payments can effectively solve issues like slow and expensive international wire transfers, high transaction fees, restrictive banking hours, and the lack of transparency. While Ripple anticipates the IT industry to hit $1.5 trillion by 2024, the crypto payments provider has also expanded its focus to other sectors. In November 2023, Ripple announced its intention to dominate the $300 million payment sector. Ah, <sighs> man. <laughs> the strategic expansion aligns with the company's vision to revolutionize the traditional finance system and could serve as a catalyst to trigger a long-awaited surge in XRP prices. Well, we shall see. So what's next for XRP? A potential surge? Ripple's possible entry into a trillion-dollar industry comes as a ray of hope for the XRP hodlers who, <laughs> who have been waiting years to see a significant shift in, in the price of XRP. If Ripple's advanced payment technology successfully becomes integrated into the vast IT industry, demand for its native token XRP may rise. Since 2023, till date, XRP has been unable to break resistance to reach the $1 price mark. Hence the meme, let's get to a dollar first. <laughs> However, Ripple's move into a multi-trillion dollar market could lead to broader adoption of the cryptocurrency, potentially pushing XRP's price to values predicted by various crypto analysts in the industry. At the time of writing this, it is trading at 57 cents. Obviously, that's following the crash, the flash crash, according to CoinMarketCap. 
the cryptocurrency is still trading miles below its all-time high of three dollars and 84 cents in 2018. okay so basically the hope according to this article is that ripple making inroads into the it sector will push the price well they did announce to go into the payment sector which is 100x or 200x in terms of the amount of money in that than the IT sector. But um, that didn't do too much for the price. So the fact that this announcement is going to make a surge in the price, I highly doubt. Okay. And also any surge in the price of XRP that inherently has been happening along with everybody else has been eaten up by, in my opinion, what looks like programmatic manipulation and uh, systematic sales of XRP. Effectively, it would seem that someone very large, allegedly Ripple themselves, have been sort of dumping on us, to be honest, uh, which is why it's been a staple coin <laughs> this whole time. So unfortunately, what's happened is with the flash crash, because XRP hadn't soared like the other tokens, it hasn't recovered from this flash crash like the other tokens, right? So if you take Solana, for instance, Solana is sort of out of the crash. You can see it dipped his, tipped his head out of the crash. It was in the green, is in the green somewhat. Um, it's gone down, but it's basically almost back to its pre-crash levels. Bitcoin has done even better. Look, Bitcoin is pretty much out of the crash, pretty much at levels that would be an acceptable sort of cooling off as if there was no crash. So Bitcoin did very well with this flash crash, even though Bitcoin sort of caused the flash crash. But many old coins like XRP are kind of still deeply in the red. Very interesting coins that are in the red and represent a good opportunity, actually, if you want to make some quick money, no financial advice, are Polygonmatic, which just a week ago was at over $1. And of course, Avalanche, which was over $40 just a few days ago. So those represent quite good buys at the moment, in my opinion, no financial advice as usual. And Cosmos is another one. And just looking down at some of these coins that did relatively well, still out looking very tasty at 12.12. Look, it's even worse than XRP at the moment. So that has a bit of an upside to even get back to where it was before. That's about a 12 to 13% just to get to the pre-crash prices. So not financial advice, but I might be picking up some of those coins just at least on a short-term basis. I will see you in the next video.